Welcome to my budget deck channel where I try to make decks as cheap and playable as possible. So if this is something you'd be interested in, then why not subscribe? Today with a deck that I think someone has requested a few weeks ago, and I think I said I would do it like a few weeks ago, but I was actually trying to work on a variant that OTKs, Ungabunga, Big Robot does Big Robot things. Um, problematic was the meta right now is super strong going for us. Like the decks can build up crazy boards and without investing into the very expensive go second staples uh, and hand trap staples, there's not really a way to make a deck that, uh, well, is cheap and actually achieves something and isn't bricky. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, and this is uh, then what I came up with instead, because I had a look at the ancient gear cards and they are not all about hitting your opponent very hard. Yes, lots of them are, but there's some burn stuff in here. There's some floating stuff in here. There's some recursion stuff in here. Um, so I focused more on the variant of gain resources and keep gaining resources and possibly out resource your opponent a bit like a weird version of burning abyss in a sense. I don't know if that uh, describes it a bit more. Um, so yes, because we have lots of Earth Machine Monsters besides Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. I don't know why, plus very hard to say because of the gear and giant. Ah, the English language is full of surprises and very, very fun. Um, this card for some reason is a dark monster. No idea why, no idea why that had to be. Um, so it doesn't really work 100%, especially this, like, with this card doesn't really work 100% with the whole infinite track combo because the problem is infinite tracks lock you into earth machine monsters and then you can't also go into this one that's why i decided to uh, binge stuff like overload fusion i thought about running one in the grind game you can you can still run all of these cards you can run one power bond if you like um but this is mainly what i decided to go with we run one infinite track harvester we already have lots of normal summons we already have lots of uh, low level monsters that you want to have on board. So this one starts your combos but only starts your infinite track combos really. It doesn't really do much for the whole ancient gear but there are certain scenarios where you have to search this one off of a heavy forward and uh, if you have no other normal summon in your hand that you can use then uh, this is something that uh, comes up from time to time. It shouldn't because you run like what 18 normal summons in total if you uh, count heavy forward as well. Um, but yeah it did came up for me a few times, so I decided to run one Infinite Tech Harvester and it can build up certain uh, kind of things because with the uh, Trencher then you can do certain things on the crackback and so on and so on and so on, but you could cut this card if you have different cards you want to be running. For the Ancient Gear cards we have uh, Triple the Dog, it burns for 600, yay, um, a worse cowboy, but it also is a fusion, mainly be used to go into Howitzer, but also there are some some ways of uh, utilizing this card to go into um, bigger monsters. One Ash Blossom, you want to run three in this deck, talking about hand traps while we add it, three Ash Blossom, three Maxi instead of like uh, these kind of cards uh, are kind of mandatory if you want to pl be playing this deck at the highest possible level. Obviously for budget version this is still fine, it still works and it still does stuff. Um, other cards you uh, can consider as uh, Ghost Bell at the moment, Skullmeister even if you want to, or DD Crow is a bit cheaper if you if you like. Because there's one card that we'll be talking about in a second which is Ancient Gear Wyvern. This card, for some reason, um, because they felt like searching Gear Reborn was too strong and also setting it, um, yes, this card uh, locks you out of setting cards for the rest of the turn. At least it says the rest of the turn, but it wish it, I wish it was a bit different. So if you then use the whole Infinite Track engine after you've used this card's effect to search stuff, um, it would be beneficial if you didn't draw into stuff like Forbidden Chalice, Forbidden Droplet, uh, or Impermanence, because you cannot set them anymore, but if you obviously uh, drew cards like Maxi and Ash Blossom, besides the fact that they are uh, power level wise a lot stronger as well. Um, that is the reason why if you have them definitely run them over all of these kind of uh, go second, go first of kind of cards. Um, yeah, just uh, works a lot better with uh, Wyvern. Not that it matters all that much unless you draw into Wyvern at the start and this is your playmaker uh, or you play starter, then it does matter. But other than that, it usually doesn't matter too much. Just uh, saying it if you actually have the cards then you should be running it anyway but that's even a bigger reason to run them a uh, double ancient gear box you can run three if you want if you want to get rid of harvester because uh, having a good amount of um ancient gear cards in your deck is somewhat important if you want to utilize cards like uh, this one or in general if you want to utilize even howitzer because technically you can easily search this card but this card then uh, with its effect mainly wants to be searching tunneler unless you already have the card 
Um, so it's beneficial if you already start with an ancient gear monster in your hand that you don't use for your combo, like either start with one and uh, go into other kind of combos or have two in hand that one of them you start your infinite track combos, then it's uh, a lot better because then you can kind of end your turn on another howitzer, which is also quite good from time to time, at least to stall your opponent. This card is your access to Ancient Gear Fusion. It can be your access to Ancient Gear Reborn if you uh, get it out during opponent's turn with Howitzer, for example. So uh, this is uh, very, very strong in certain situations and certain other situations. It doesn't do all that much. But uh, yeah, definitely included this one in an Ancient Gear deck. Ancient Gear Frame, another card that I think even came out after Wyvern, I'm not sure. Um, I want to say this card is good, but it's not really. It also like gets you into your fusion, which is quite nice, so you can actually do stuff with it, and it can search your golem. Sometimes helpful if you already have uh, your fusion in hand, um, or a different way, if for some reason you have a hunting hound on uh, your field, then you can search uh, one of your golems, and you can actually go into this one. Can be helpful, isn't always super helpful, but at least it does stuff. And these are all level four, so if you summon them with Anchor Drill, you can go into stuff like Bogustica and Heavy Armored Train, which very important as well. And also with uh, Anchor Drill, you can actually go into rank eights. I decided to uh, keep it simple uh, and put this one in, but what you want to be playing is probably stuff like Hope Harbinger. You could also uh, go into the whole Draglubion package with Numeron Dragon, which Let's be honest here, the OTK with this one comes up a lot more than the OTK with this one. So, yeah, it is what it is from time to time. Um, if you want to run this, this is definitely an ultra rare that you should consider. And if you want to focus more on the go first kind of thing, O Power Binger can be quite strong as well. Talking about the Infinity Track package, we run Triple Anchor Drill because this card, like I said, can go into rank 4s, can go into rank 8s. Uh, it can get two monsters on board, which is quite important for the whole um, further on Infinity Track combo. It's important for going into Ancient Gear Ballista. It is searchable, so this card, all in all, uh, very, very strong. It also triggers on Beat Special Summit if you ever have to get it back with Trencher can happen, usually it doesn't happen. Trencher is to extend your combo, um, so you have more monsters on board and you, you can do a lot more. I wish this card would summon back like level four, uh, yeah, level five or lower Earth Machine monster from your graveyard, that would be hilarious, but it isn't strong enough like that, but you know, there's always something you can improve. Tunneler, I run at two, you can cut it down to one if you want to, but this deck can be quite grindy, so I actually like having it um, a two, so you can keep uh, recycling resources, and you can also keep recycling your fusion monsters if they hit the graveyard or your link monsters, uh, which is very very important because you don't really after turn two run out of uh, earth machine monsters in your graveyard like that should not be happening, and then uh, especially your budget variant boy extra deck isn't that stacked, you can get stuff back if you can't uh, OTK your opponent at the one turn, you might be able to do it the next turn. Brutal Dozer, very, very strong for starting off your combos, River Stormer and so on. There's so much to search. Usually you want to be searching uh, Theorian King Regulus or um, uh, a Super Express bullet, uh, bullet Train with River Stormer, but there's obviously different options that you have as well. You can always search Ancient Gear Golem if you like, if you, uh, other than that, already have your fusion ready and you'd be wanting to do some of that shenanigans. Golem at two here, you technically... Uh, I run it at two, so in theory you could go into Megaton Golem and uh, use two or more Ancient Gear Golems, uh, so you actually can get the effect off to attack multiple times. It's kind of pointless, uh, usually you can switch this out, like run one Golem because you do have one, uh, one of this one, and possibly play one Reactor Dragon because you can actually summon this card. This one has this annoying clause that it cannot be special summoned for some reason. And uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Uh, so this one is a lot better. Also, it helps you uh, get rid of spell traps on the field, which uh, you don't have uh, any way really other than that to get rid of that one. This card, very, very strong, helps you go in first. Uh, you can keep recycling it with Bullet Train if you already start with Bullet Train. That's why we run this card at three. Very, very important to get another body on board. Helps you with this one, helps you with uh, extending your combos. And at the end of the turn, you can add one Machine Monster and you give it add back to your hand. So if you have Ancient Gear Box as well and you add it back to your hand, Box uh, actually can trigger the effect again. Then you search another card, which mainly will be this or um, this one. Uh, but that is quite fun as well, so you can gain resources, gain resources, gain resources, and this recycle stuff, this can recycle uh, Regulus as well, and this card can be recycled by Anger Knuckle, so you have a resource grind, basically the uh, standard Infinite Track combo is going. One Ancient Gear Fusion, a card that has missed the mark like by so much, 
it's so annoying because this card had real potential and then all it does is you can fusion some one ancient gear fusion monster, not even machine monster whatsoever. Um, using materials not even from the graveyard that would have been interesting as well and if you have an ancient gear golem or ultimate parent which can easily be special summoned unless you use the some convoluted kind of stuff i think some of the ancient gear things ignore summoning conditions but it's not that easy unless you play like a super poor variant and even then um it's uh, it's not great. Uh, then you can use fusion materials from your deck. Uh, I understand that using only ones from your deck is quite overpowered in a sense of because then this would be like an instant uh, chaos uh, gi giant, for example. Um, but you could have at least made it like if you use uh, one ancient gear golem or ultimate parent from your hand or field, then you can use one material from your deck. Like it wouldn't have hurt the deck uh, at all would have been a lot more applicable, I feel like, than in this way, but in some decks this effect is a bit better than the one that I just described. One gear turn because it is searchable and going second, this is quite nice, because you can, if you go first and then the crack back, you have this card back in your extra deck because you recycle it with uh, Tunneler, then you can go into the combo again, search this card, pop this card, um, get one of your strong monsters out, in theory, which would be uh, Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon, sadly like this, uh, you I think cannot get this out because this one does not have the effect that you ignore the summoning conditions so you mainly will get out stuff like wyvern and uh, search some other kind of stuff you might get out gear frame or you might get out hunting door hound and then you can fusion someone from that point onwards so it hampers the deck a bit if you do not run a uh, reactor dragon that's what i said if you have reactor dragon run one of them uh, instead of it because uh, it's a lot better with gear town heavy forward very 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 interesting card very strong card uh, add some consistency, uh, Ash Blossom Bait from time to time, and gets you into stuff like Anchor Drill or uh, mainly Brutal Dozer, but sometimes Anchor Drill is the right way to go. For Bin Chalice, uh, the budget hand trap, basically because it's not a hand trap, but good going first and good going second. You get this card basically for free, so I included it. Also good going first, good going second, same for Impermanence. We do, do run one Ancient Gear Reborn, the card in this specific variant isn't too bad unless you draw it. Most of the time you don't want to see this in your starting hand, but if you actually search it over a grindy game, then this card is absolutely insane. You cannot uh, special summon certain cards because like this, must be fusion summoned, it cannot be special summoned by other ways, so you can't get it back from the graveyard. Uh, same with this one, must be fusion summoned, doesn't even say first, but this one you can. It doesn't trigger the effect of uh, milling stuff, uh, or not milling stuff, um, floating then, because it has to be fusion summoned to do this, but constantly being able to re revive a 3,500 uh, attack point monster then, because you gain 200 attack uh, every turn, and technically even like every turn of each player um, is uh, somewhat strong and you also can generate some uh, stuff with wyvern because against uh, common belief this card doesn't actually only search spell traps but search any ancient gear card which is uh, very very strong and one card you don't have to run but i just wanted to mention it crusher run especially in a deck like this that's a bit grindy if a face up earth machine monster controls destroyed by battle card effect you can target one card on the field um, and destroy it which is very 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 helpful uh, from time to time especially if your opponent plays like also a grindish kind of deck then they have to deal with this card technically you could go more into the infinitar kind of thing and run spin turn for example but i tried it out and it wasn't it wasn't what i wanted i run uh, two howitzers because i've run very many ways of fusion summoning and uh, since this only needs two ancient gear monsters it's not that hard to pull off so i decided to go with two it comes up a lot the 1000 burn comes up more often than you would think possibly and also the fact that it's unaffected by other card effects so you basically have to kaiju it or um uh, destroy battle and if it's destroyed by battle you um well first of all you stall a bit and second of all you can technically special summon one ancient gear monster from your deck ignoring its summoning conditions so this is where it comes into play that you run golems then you can get a golem out and your opponent has to deal with this one yeah technically uh same stats as reactor dragon so this would still work as well megaton uh floats into this one which is quite nice and this one then floats into one ancient gear golem which you obviously need in your graveyard but then but it's not too hard to get it into your graveyard especially since you run two you can run three but yeah, wouldn't recommend plus this card needs a golem that's usually why it doesn't matter but if you summon it off of this you know you see the problem and one chaos ancient gear giant ancient gear giant oof, uh, because it's a dark monster it's a bit problematic from time to time one uh, armor train because this is 2200 dam damage and very easy to go into and it attacks directly so zeus don't have to run zeus but i felt like this deck really needed that uh, boost in the grind game 
with Zeus being available. Baguska for stall if you can't do anything, or technically a lot of the time Max E hits you quite hard. So this is why you probably should be running stuff like Called by the Grief and Triple Ash. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Max E apparently is here to stay, which is kind of annoying, but you know, have to deal with that somehow. This card very, very strong. This card does stuff, run any rank 8, that's better basically. Uh, this one you need three off because you have a combo because then you can get them all into the graveyard and then you still deck them if you use the tunneler effect because you um, get all of them back into the deck and then you draw two cards uh, so you kind of don't draw into cards that you just shuffle back into the deck because usually you don't want to draw into a monster at this point. Uh, this card very underrated. Uh, it can constantly recycle your bu bullet train. It can constantly get itself back to the graveyard, and you can, uh, for its effect, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard and special summon this card. So also heavy forward would be a thing you can send to the graveyard. Ancient Gear Reborn you could send technically send to the graveyard. Sadly, um, it doesn't work with this card because it has to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Uh, well, yeah, and, and sent to the graveyard. But this one doesn't destroy, so not as good. But this one destroys. So uh, there we go. This one, a card you have to very much keep in mind for OTKs because you can actually reduce your opponent's uh, monstrous attack and death to zero until the end of the turn, which is very important if you want to be finishing a game or just beat over one of your opponent's monsters. For other cards to consider, obviously Ancient Eka Catapult is usually quite good, but in this specific variant it doesn't really make much sense because you don't run cards like Fortress, you don't run, run Triple Gear Town. Um, it's okay because you will be searching certain stuff uh, with Ballista, so you technically could run this at 3 and mainly you will be doing a combo going to Ballista and then you can technically search Gear Town, but usually you want to be searching uh, not Gear Town, but Box, and then I felt like this card is kind of waste because what you get off searching Box a lot of the time is a bit better than what you get off popping Gear Town. So there is that one as well. You can run Power Bond if you like. Sometimes having two Ancient Gear Fusions would be like more optimal even though you'd have to cut certain cards certain engines uh, you can substitute this by running one power bond it can be very helpful to finish the game but a lot of the time it's just mainly a uh, brick in your deck and on to the replay and here we are with the replay trying to show you what to do and what not to do and uh, talk a bit about the deck uh, in general. Here we have a hand that, well, we can't do much more uh, than actually just normal summoning Ancient Gearbox. So we do need like one normal summonable Earth Machine monster. You do run quite a lot, but I had it in testing that for some reason, like even like the 16 or 18 that I have weren't enough and three games in a row I started without one. Statistically, very, 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 very unlikely. Yeah, sometimes you have to be lucky, I guess. Uh, we go into the bullet train here already because then um, we have uh, certain options doing our combos. We obviously want to use Brutal Dozer. It doesn't really matter that much which card you get rid of. I always try to get rid of not the Ancient Gear monster because in case I draw into a fusion or in case I find a way to um, keep this one alive and then I can still go into how it's uh, at the end of the turn. We go to Tunneler here because we already have Trencher and Trencher here doesn't even matter all that much. We go into River Stormer. With River Stormer, we can now add uh, the Therion card to our hands because we already had our uh, extender on board, so it doesn't really matter that much uh, that we need a second monster on board. So we can go into uh, Regulus. Uh, now we do the classic Infinite Track combo where you spam your Goliathus, you use Goliath, then uh, activate the effect of River Stormer in the graveyard, then again get another Goliath, then we use them to go into Ancient Gear Ballista. Ancient Gear Ballista uh, searches us our gearbox. Our gearbox then searches us our uh, tunneler usually, but this time we can search actually Ancient Gear Frame because we did already have a um, summon off a tunneler because we already had Trencher in hand. I feel like at this point uh, we go into Trencher, then Trencher can be sent to the graveyard to for another Goliath which is the kind of combo that you usually do by a special summoning a trencher with uh, the bulldozer but uh, the doomdozer and this time we uh, use the trencher effect now we get this now we can go into anger knuckle because we have the train in the graveyard so we have that as a resource gain which is quite nice but do not use the effect in the turn you summon this because then in the end phase you don't get to add a card and that is a bit annoying because uh, this card is quite good to react uh, to your opponent's removals, for example. Um, so do not summon the card back now, the bullet train, because then you don't get the effect in the end phase, because this only triggers in the end phase, and you kind of do want to add cards back from your graveyard to your hand, just for uh, the resources for the next turn, basically, which is where you want to go. Now we activate Tunneler, shuffling all the extra deck monsters that are in our graveyard back into the deck, which draws us cards, and now we draw another uh, negate, basically, and we summon Regulus, 
sadly there's not that many cards that actually do stuff with regulars equipped uh, there's certain decks which i will be doing in the future where you can actually equip cards from your graveyard that if they get destroyed they actually do stuff and uh, that's a bit nicer technically ancient gear frame does stuff with its uh, if it leaves the field because of an opponent's uh, card effect yeah doesn't happen too much why should they be going for it unless you have so much back row and only regulars and this card then uh, yeah might come up but usually shouldn't now we see who we're playing against. Glad that we haven't been disrupted. We add one card back. This is where you can add back a gearbox uh, and technically add stuff, but we already did this, but we wanted to have more ancient gear stuff so we can go into the five fusion possibly next turn because we can actually search stuff. And uh, it's Witchcrafter. They get to draw lots of things. They get to add lots of things. They do lots of stuff. Now they're targeting, but not targeting protected. They can do stuff uh, if we target them with Aruru. I think bounce one of our cards which can be annoying or get one of their spells back. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind if we want to use a Forbidden Chalice. They go for a Reasoning, we say level five, uh, level four because I wanted to, um, to keep them off of this one, but they already did have this. In the end, uh, against Witchcrafters, it's, there's not really many numbers you can call because all of them kind of lead them somewhere. So uh, quite, quite glad they only hit an Ash Blossom. At this point, uh, they discarded the Call by the Grave to use the effect. I uh, wanted to stop Schmerta because that's how they get their Playmakers out. Um, couldn't because they had another Cold by the Grave in hand, so a bit screwed with this one. Then they all summon out one of their big witchcrafters, and uh, I think it's uh, Madame Veer, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And yeah, that's when I thought, let's uh, not have this card open because they can gain some attack with showing spell cards, and they have, I think, at least, well, at least one, um, if I'm not mistaken. So I thought. Uh, let's, if we lose our monster anyway, let's gain some resources at the end of the turn. We, uh, they say, send a card by street to the graveyard, by street protects them, so we have that a bit of a problem next turn. End phase, we add uh, our uh, Brutal Dozer back to our hand, because our Brutal Dozer at this point does, um, well, well, it's the only card we could have added back, but even then I would have probably gone over this uh, rather than uh, Regulus if Regulus wasn't banned. And just um, banished simply because of the fact that this can play start again, you can draw us two again, and so on and so on. And uh, yeah, that's my decision making uh, there. I had to do it anyway, but I think I would have done it the same way even if we draw into another Ancient Gear card. We Now is the time to actually use uh, Forbidden Chalice because now the blanket negate of this card doesn't work and uh, it triggers a Ruru, but a Ruru can't bounce one of our monsters. If we do this later as a reaction to this card's effect, then we already will have a monster on board and then they can just bounce this, which I do not want to happen. So uh, we trigger a Ruru now, they get one card back. Not that matters overly all that much. Uh, we have... Uh, quite the combo here, if I'm not mistaken. And here's where I make a bit of a mistake. I focus too much on the Ancient Gear stuff because I was quite excited to have so many Ancient Gear monsters in my hand. I discard one box, technically could have kept that in hand as well, uh, but I go into Anger Knuckle, more attack points, and uh, then I search my Ancient Gear Fusion, which obviously, what card are we going into? Ooh, we go into the <laughs> Chaos Giant, yay. The one time it does actually come up. And we're not locked yet, that's why I didn't want to use Brutal Dozer, but now I thought this card can attack all monsters permanently, but it's only once each. So keep this in mind, because I thought if they protect it with By Street, I can just attack it twice, and then I'm just at game anyway. But I was not, so uh, what I should have done here is go into Brutal Dozer, um, use the effects, go into River Storm or search a card, and then basically what I could have done, that's just game, because uh, you will see in a second we will be short a bit. We were running into all of the monsters, and uh, what happens now is they are left with 400. If we would have gone into Riverstormer again, we would have been at 2,500, so 1,000 damage more, and they would have been dead. Also, what we could have done is uh, go into Ballista and uh, searched <laughs> Gear Town and popped Gear Town, and then reduced one of the, the monsters' um, attack points to zero, and so on and so on. So there were plenty of ways to actually finish the game here. I did miss them at the time. I was too hyped about the whole thing and forgot I can still use the Brutal Dozer effect. For some reason, I thought I couldn't. Um, keep that in mind. This deck has game on board more often than you think if you actually think about attack values and especially the Ballista effect from time to time. So now we do the combo. Because I then realized that you can do it, uh, go into 
through all of the Infinitra combos again, doesn't really do all that much. We uh, search Bullet Train, which we cannot summon, but just search it anyway for the next turn if we need it uh, to go into Ballista, because then we can still finish the game. Could have searched anything here, really. Uh, going through the motions again, shuffling stuff back. I kind of wanted to um, keep my River Stormer here and just keep on going, basically. We add one Anchor Drill, so we can have like a rank 4 next turn as well with this, which is pretty good. And yeah, at this point onwards, they do some combos. They actually put up a pretty impressive board. It's not, technically, it's not too hard to deal with this because it's only unaffected by spell trap effects, but their good effects are mainly the monster effects and they can easily pop this card with Hain, which they will be doing eventually. It'll take some time because uh, they have quite a lot of combos to do. It's quite a nice board they can come up with in the end uh, because they use the Adel combo, which not everybody knows or not, not everybody wants to uh, go for when they play this deck, but... Uh, they did, they get rid of my River Stormer. I could have equipped this next turn and then um, actually searched again. So that's why I wanted to keep this card up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, they haven't done stuff yet because they are still lacking the spell card, but during uh, my turn, they can just pop this card because otherwise I'll just go into battle phase and uh, which I clicked and then they were like, oh, have to do something about this. Otherwise they just run me down. And then I knew they didn't have any disruption anymore. So what I did here was go into armor train. And uh, this is a card that you can't forget. First of all, Zeus Axis. Second of all, uh, it does 2,200 direct damage. This is quite high for lots of cards. So um, this is how you finish games. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned.